The Turtle Room, Education, Conservation, Survival. So right now we're standing in the Redfoot enclosure and as wonderful as this species is, I feel the need to ask you about what we're standing in front of right now and why you might choose to put an enclosure around a huge tree like this. Well, this is a thorn bush and uh, I really like having this in here because underneath it's almost like a little microclimate. It, it stays more humid under there, it's shady under there. They love going under there and usually when I come out here at feeding time, they all come out from underneath this tree. Um, but it offers a lot of shade for them. It's a lot cooler under there and it stays uh, humid longer under there. I love that. I think one of the big issues, the first thing I say to someone, I just had someone tell me today that their grandson got a red foot tortoise. And, and, and the first thing I say is, how are you gonna keep them warm enough, especially over the winter, and how are you gonna keep them wet enough? And I think that's so great. You know, live plants uh, really increase the humidity, and I just can't even imagine how how nice it feels for them under there. Yeah, yeah. And, um, this a while back used to be a sulcata pen, and the sulcata dug a deep tunnel, so they utilize that tunnel and go down you know, deep down. And when it's real hot, they go down to cool off. And, um, so it's a great pen. Um, uh, this is one of my favorite pens, and and it's all because of this thorn bush. Really appreciate it. Well, Anthony, it was my pleasure. Thanks for coming out. For more information on this and other exciting colonian species, visit theturtleroom.com. Check back every Monday night for new videos from the Turtle Room.